for a podcast episode. We are going to be going live in about 22 minutes for Outlander Cast. Outlander Cast, of course, is our podcast that covers all things Outlander, particularly the TV show. That's really what we cover. We cover the TV show mostly. We, we sometimes dabble in the book stuff, but for those of you who don't know, my husband Blake hasn't read all of the books. So because of that, we make it a spoiler free prod podcast. Okay, go, go, Lumos, go. Lumos, my cat, is a riot because I swear to God, she is totally normal and fine and like any old cat sleeps and hangs out. But the moment that she knows that we are going live, okay, you want your moment to shine? Whether it's in the podcast studio or here with my Minute with Mary stuff, you just want to come on and say hello, don't you? All right here, you can sit on this blanket. All right, sit right there. All right, so that being said, I'm going to be doing a pretty casual look for today's episode. I spent the day at the Newport Kite Festival with my kids. And I want to know, do you love kites? Do you have kite festivals where you live? Um, it's 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 like one of my favorite things to go to and I can't see. Hello, Chelsea. Chelsea said hi to Lumos. Um, you just bought the first book. Yay, that's awesome. I, I'm excited to hear what you think, what you think about the book, the book versus the show and just all these kind of exciting things. So as I said, I'm wearing a t-shirt. I'm wearing a Sundays are for Sassanox t-shirt right here. You can get it at the Mary Ann Blake store, but I usually do get a little bit more jazzed up and dressed up for our podcast episodes, but today was just a really fun, casual Sunday fun day with me and the kids. So I'm going to be doing a uh, makeup look that makes me feel confident on camera. So if you have Zooms, if you have virtual meetings, I'm here to tell you getting a matte pressed powder is going to be your best friend, particularly if you have texture. So I'm talking fine lines. If you have oil, oily skin, if you have physical under eye bags, we've got this little beauty that I'm getting taken care of this week taken off. It's funny because it's not a mole. I feel like it's called like a keratosis polaris. I'm making that entire word up. So if one of you knows what I'm talking about, but it's this kind of a thing right here. And then a couple of my age spots are actually that same kind of skin thing. Um, and I had them taken off a couple of years ago and they warned me that it's genetic and they're just going to grow back. But it's funny because Sam Hewen has a mole in the same spot. And I was like, oh my gosh, I almost don't want to get it removed because we're twinsies, but I do want to get it removed. So it's just part of the regular checkup stuff that I'm going through. Um, but kite flying reminds me of Mary Poppins. Yes, I totally took a little video of the kite festival in Newport. And in the video, I put the music to Let's Go Fly a Kite from Mary Poppins because I agree, it makes me think about it all the time. So kite flying for me has been a super calming activity. Growing up, I had a lot of anxiety and I didn't know it. I mean, anxiety really wasn't a thing that we talked about, particularly if you were a teenager, like nobody thought that teenagers really had problems to be anxious about, right? So just so you guys know, I used the lightest shade Scarlet for my concealer. I love, love, love using my pressed powder as a matte concealer. It has shea butter inside of it. It has anti-aging ingredients inside of it. So it is not your typical like drying out powder that's just going to make you look and feel older. It actually packs a punch and is amazing. And <laughs> like my under eyes are so bright right now. So now I'm going to go in with a darker shade that's my more normal skin tone and add that up, but I wanted to do a little bit lighter under the eyes. Um, so yeah, so growing up, I had anxiety and it caused a lot of stomach problems. I actually missed a lot of school because of it. I ended up getting a lot of headaches because of it. And once again, like nobody thought to be like, oh, is this high achieving academic and musician girl like <laughs> who does all these sports? Like, could she potentially be stressed? We would handle it a lot differently in 2023 is what I can tell you, but I ended up getting a lot of physical ailments. And eventually we figured out that some of it might be because of the stress that I was under, that I honestly put myself under. And um, I needed to find hobbies that allowed me to calm down. So of course, reading was a, a big one. It's one of the times that I turned to Harry Potter, which is a huge reason why that series became so important to me. 
But then also I started kite flying and I realized I liked kite flying because it brought me outside in nature. It was something that I could do alone and I'm an extrovert. So I love being around people. It almost energizes me. But on the flip side, I definitely need downtime to recharge my batteries. There are some extroverts that like being with people recharges their batteries and that's just not me. I need occasional alone time. So that's what kite flying became for me. So in college, when things became too much, I would truly go kite flying. And I started off just with like your little cheapy kites. And then I ended up graduating to stunt kites. And <laughs> little, little Mary was out there in Newport, Rhode Island doing all the woo 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 cool things with the kites. So it's really neat for me to now fly kites with my kids um, and just to kind of teach them. So we're doing very basic stuff with the kids. Um, so it's, it's been neat. I am also going to be wearing my glasses for the podcast. So that's going to change some of how I do my makeup, which is why I wanted such a bright concealer color, um, underneath my glasses. When I grew up near Long Beach, Washington, says Allison, there was a kite festival every year at the beach. That's so cool. Oh, thank you, Claudia, for seeing like the shirt. How's the makeup for rosacea? This is like my favorite foundation for rosacea because it is nourishing and hydrating and yet it's full coverage. So you can use the sponge that it comes with to do full coverage. And then you can use your regular makeup brush if you just want light to medium coverage elsewhere where you don't need it. Um, but it is definitely like a favorite for my friends who have rosacea. They don't wear a lot of makeup, but do you use the same brush to blend your BB cream and also pressed powder? Great question. I use a fluffier brush when it comes to my powder products. With BB cream, you can use your fingers. You can use a blending bud, like just one of those little makeup sponges that you can even find at the dollar store. Or I use a kabuki brush. So it's a densely packed brush with flat top because I'm trying to, um, I don't know, I just find that like liquidy type things and the BB cream is a bit more creamier. I don't use with fluffy brushes. Fluffy brushes I use for more powders. Um, <laughs> you like the earrings. Thank you so much. Hi, Sarah. Great to see you. Great to see you. All right, so I'm going to add some bronzer. When I'm on camera downstairs, uh, I end up looking like Edward Cullen or maybe one of the Volturi just because Blake has a lighting obsession. So I do need to add in some dimension. And when you do more fuller coverage, you want to warm your skin back up with either bronzer and or blush. So I like to do both when I'm on camera, even when I'm wearing a casual t-shirt and glasses. So I just, I love that I'm able to share these tips because not everybody goes on camera, uh, you know, in a podcast studio or in a TV studio or anything like that, but you do have photographs taken of yourself and you do often go on Zooms or video calls and these tips really work well for that. And it's just like overall fantastic makeup. So if you end up liking some of the tips you can apply it for your everyday wear or for some you know fancy events or something so I took the bronzer around my forehead kind of around the cheek area underneath my chin just to add dimension and then because it's summer I also brush it where the sun would hit and this gives my face a little bit of that warmth back because as I said I am part vampire but it is also July so let's act like I get bronzed from the sun when in fact I am SPF protected I mean hello <laughs> this part of me gets a bit more color um but I do I wear tons of SPF and then I go to town with a fake tan I love 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 um using tanning products this time of year but it's funny I don't use it non-stop so I'm not just like the same tan shade all summer I like use it and then I pale again and then I'll use it again so you're gonna see like a million colors of me this summer <laughs> um but yeah the kite festival was amazing so Blake had to do some yard work he also had to rewatch the episode because I watch it like when it comes out at midnight and he obviously sleeps and doesn't need to do that because he lives a more normal life than I do. <laughs> um, so he took care of house stuff. I took the kids out to the festival. It was amazing. So people there at the kite festival, they've got the stunt kites. This of course is the shade stunning and friends. I do want to let you know here in the month of July, I do have some amazing specials going on at, at Minute with Mary, and I actually have a goal that I'm trying to hit. I'm trying to earn um, a cruise for Blake and myself. I hadn't really been working towards it just because I was dealing with all of my different like ailments and body problem issues, so I didn't set myself this goal, but I am in in reach of it so if you do need to freshen up on any skincare or makeup or collagen 
if you want to try it out at knitwithmary.com, I would be first so grateful for you to let me help you on out there, but also know that I have a phenomenal 14 day love it cash back guarantee. So you can try things out for two weeks. And if you don't love it, I give you all your money back and or you have within 90 days so that's three months to try it and if you don't love it or say maybe you get a tan over the summer you can actually switch it for product credit so i do have a phenomenal customer service guarantee all of my products are naturally based a bunch of them are vegan a bunch of them are kosher um and i would just be super grateful all right so i went hardcore with my blush right once again i'm gonna be on camera downstairs lots of lights i like to go a little heavy and then blend things out a smidge so as i said head on over to minutewithmary.com because this month i actually have a sale of pretty much everything on my site um you can build your own bundle and if you grab an item from Facebook so like you know what I did foundation blush bronzer that would be a face item um, eyes any eyeshadows mascaras eyeliners anything like that uh, lips so lip gloss lipstick lip mask for those of you who just need some hydration um, and or skin or body so we're talking about like facial serums clean uh, cleansing cloths um, different all different like rose water like all the kind of stuff for your skin so you get one from three of those different categories. So I listed four different categories. If you get one from three of those categories, you get 20% off. And if you get one from each of the four categories, you get 25% off. So it's a great way to get you savings on things that you might need a refill in or things you want to try. For people who are the minimalists, I say go for rose water, which is a fantastic toner. It helps with bug bites. It helps with sunburns. Everybody could benefit from getting rose water. So that would be from the skin side of things. Then I recommend everybody get the BB cream because it has the SPF. So it's a lightly tinted, but like part of your skincare routine. So that would be face and that would be the skin. And then otherwise, I always suggest getting a new mascara because you're not supposed to have the same mascara that you opened over three months ago. So even if you use your mascara sparingly, once it's opened, the countdown is on. So you feel like you can't go wrong. So even if you're just trying to get a little minimalist or you want a little lip gloss or something like that, you can unlock the savings at minutewithmary.com. And got another fun thing for you. Um, I have started a new customer, um, like kind of customer... A reward system where every time you order from my site no matter what it is that you buy no matter how much it is that you spend you get 10% back in a product credit that you can use on your next order if you'd like so it will grow incrementally so if you order a couple of things, um, you know, say you get something in the beginning of the month and then you're like, oh my gosh, I wanted to get collagen. I want to try that out. It will be able to be built upon each other, but it is 10% back as a thank you. Thank you for supporting me. And then also 10% of every sale goes to um, help uh, adult survivors of childhood sexual abuse. So just so you guys know that it not only helps me and it helps my family, but you're helping people who you've never ever probably met before. Uh, but it's an epidemic. Of course, one in four girls is sadly, um, sexually abused before the age of 18. And it's something that I care about personally. And I, I'm so grateful that the company that I've teamed up with not only helps me feel more confident and beautiful, helps people like you feel more confident and beautiful, but it helps these beautiful souls that I've never met um, just by my sharing these tips and tricks. So if you've ever purchased from me, know that you've made a difference in the survivors' lives. And if you're on the fence, hopefully that is another idea for you to, to think about. But as I said, I'm also doing a customer rewards program from July forward. So, um, but yeah, the flying of the kites enough of my minute with mary stuff <laughs> the flying of the kites um it was just wonderful it was so great the kids had those kind of sock type of kites they looked like um octopus and really really easy there's no poles i found that with my kids if there's poles involved, I'm just using my felt tipped marker right here. I like to add a little bit of extra definition because I am going to be wearing my glasses. So I kind of want it to be thick and voluminous. When you wear glasses, you want your lashes to be more voluminous than long. So there's different times when people want like long lashes or thick lashes. But if you wear glasses, you probably already know this, but if you didn't, this is a fun tip. You definitely want to work on the volume 
And you could also work on the length, but the volume is going to help them stand out from behind your lenses. And doing a little bit of eyeliner also helps the base of your lashes, lashes look um, nice and thick as well. So, um, but yeah, we absolutely, positively had a blast. What was funny is that my little lasses kite, so they had identical kites aside from the colors. My little lass had a purple one and my little lad had an orange one. And my son's kite, no problem, taken off into the sky. I mean, goes to the end of the string cord. And then my daughter's kite just kept veering left and we couldn't figure it out. So this marvelous kite flyer shows on up. So that was my lash primer. I'm now going in with my best-selling mascara. This is my 40 mascara. It has little fibers built inside to really help with the volume. So if you like the look of false lashes or if you're looking to really add that volume and you like a nice, you know, strong black. Oh no, I've got some spammers on me. <laughs> this is what I get. Um, uh, the the 40 is going to be is going to be your jam. So my as I said, we were flying kites and the purple one kept going down. And this guy who's like <laughs> hardcore flying kite person uh, who was doing all the stunt kites, had a whole little booth. He came on over and helped and he was so sweet. He taught me how to do some different knots and um, helped explain different ways to kind of teach my kids how to get them to stay in the air a little bit better. So that was really great. And then I, with his tips, it worked. So we stayed there for a couple of hours um, and I loved it. I mean, it got to a point where they could like sit down and it was so high up and strong in the, in the sky that they didn't have to worry about it because the place where we have the Newport Kite Festival is one of the best places on the East Coast to fly kites. It's just the way that the water comes up off the Atlantic and you truly can. You could just kind of set your kite up there and you're good to go. You can like put it down in a stake in the ground and go have a picnic and be proud of yourself. All right, so I am, um, <laughs> got a spammer on Facebook. Friends, if you are on Facebook, please help report this little spammer, but um, otherwise I'll just take care of it a little later. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna blend a smidge down here. And I am going to do a lip gloss. So this is the shade Lighthearted, which looks super duper purple. And I'm not going to lie, if I was doing this just by the tube, I probably would be afraid to wear this color. But it looks really different that, um, it looks really different like once it's on your lips. So I'll show you. Bum that out. And see, it's like... To me, this looks super duper purple, and on my lips, it looks more like a cool toned, slightly purple pink. But it's what I'm going for because, as I said, I got my Sundays are for Sassanox. Where are you? Where are your shirt? <laughs> I don't want to give you guys too much of a show. <laughs> um, but yeah, I kind of wanted to go for a little purple hue. And all I did on my eyes for eyeshadow was my bronzer. So whenever you can use kind of a two-in-one product, I say go for it. Uh, Chelsea, what are, you, what are you saying here? We've got, um, I love people that help like that because they want to pass their passion on without making you feel so dumb. Right, Chelsea? It is so important. So, so important. And that was it. Like, he, he just wanted to help me. He could see that I was struggling and I had the two kids and like you can only help with one, um, one kite, one kid at a time. I am putting on a little bit of this highlighter. It's called blushing. I love it on my eyes. I love it on my cheeks. You can put it underneath your brows to help, you know, your brows look more lifted. Put it on the cupid's bow, put it on the tip of your nose and bada bing, bada boom. You feel like a movie star. It's my favorite shade. It's just a slight pink. I'll show you one more time. So this would be under the face items as well. If you wanted to grab the special that's going on. All right, my friends, I feel really good to go. I'm gonna put a little bit of setting spray on my face to help make sure this stays put. I don't, if you don't have thick, bushy, crazy brows like myself, I mean, I've got like a forest growing on my face with my brows. If you need to fill in your brows, I highly recommend you do when you wear glasses. So not only do you want to have like voluminous mascara, but your eyebrows frame your frames. So they frame your frames. <laughs> so I do brush mine and I frequently do fill them in. Just kind of depends upon if I'm doing like a really elaborate eyeshadow look, but because mine are so thick, I don't often have to fill them in. Let's see. See if, we can, see if they can still stand out behind the glasses. Ready? Steady? Yes. 
It's just they look a little crooked. Anyone else's eyebrows? Not perfect twins. They are cousins. I say that mine are like distance cousins, like far removed. Brows are not sisters. They are cousins or they're like mine. As I said, they're like you figure out your cousins from Ancestry.com. All right, so this is the look at MidwithMary.com. I've got so many things on sale this month. As I said, you kind of get to create your own bundle. Whether you need to restock up on some of your favorites or you want to try something new, you can go a pure minimalist route and get some skincare and some nourishing items that are really going to help your skin, like my rose water, my BB cream with that SPF, maybe like a lip mask to really help keep your lips nice and hydrated. Or you can go wild and you can get a fun eyeshadow and some um, blush and, you know, all different kinds of things. So head on over if you've never been to MinuteWithMary.com, peruse the site over there. I am running for a fun goal that does end here in the month of July. So if you needed to restock up on anything, this is the month to do it. And as a thank you from here on out, I'm giving you the customer 10% back as product credit on every single purchase three hours after your purchase. Like that's as soon as my computer can send it on over to you, but it's just a way for me to thank you. And you can apply that towards your future purchases. All right, I'm going to head on down because it is time to go podcast about Outlander. I'll see some of you guys over on there on the Mary and Blake pages, and I'll talk with you soon. Bye.